Hello, my name is Megan, and today we'll be talking about Coney 2012. Uh, it is a documentary created by the Invisible Children Organization to stop Joseph Coney. Um, if, as my teacher said in class today, if you cut off the head of the snake, the rest will crumble. Um, Coney, if we get rid of Coney, then the rest of the bad people who are doing the stuff in the video will also stop because, you know, they'll fall apart without the leader. However, there is a theory that wouldn't someone else take over like a second in command, but that's just, that's just the a theory. Anyway, um, Coney 2012 will always and will, will always and is currently the most viral content uh, in the whole history of viral contents. It has gotten more than 100 million views in six days. That is, that's not even six, this is six days and well, it's a six, and um, that's not even a whole week. And I'm screwing up this video. Isn't this great? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I am so good at this. Um, so, I keep saying um, I should not do that on a video. Okay, let's get back to the point. Um, <clears throat> the, the video addresses political and worldwide issues. It targets the younger audience, like college students as myself, using emotions and the shock factor because many people don't know about the, the, um, the incident that happened. If you don't know what Coney 2012 is, please watch the documentary. It's very hard to watch this video and not know what it I'm referring to so yeah okay on another note um using the emotions and the shock factor like I say it triggers your emotions by telling sad stories of what happened to the kids by using personal um references to real life like his little kid um and what would happen basically makes you think what would happen to that little kid in America. If it happened in America, there will be like all the all that they would protect the kid. It wouldn't happen in America. However it's happening in Africa. Or it was happening in Africa. I'm not really quite sure on the detail. Um the person who made this video, Jason Russell, went a little tiny, tiny, tiny crazy um with handling all the press you know harassments and stuff um he had a naked meltdown in San Diego San Diego I'm sorry about that um now Russell says he's healthy um he um quote unquote spent six months figuring out who he was going to be how and when and whether he was going to return to the non- profit organization that he found. It doesn't say organization in the quote unquote, but I edit that because it, it, it should say organization. I don't know. I'm, I'm an English major. Sorry. Uh, so, he, Russell said that he quote unquote again didn't realize what the 15 minutes of hot, white hot fame looks like. I got, and I got to see it and it was not pretty. End quotes. Um, yeah, so fame is obviously not always a great thing because even though you think it would be great, it can probably be terrible because if you think about all the, the famous people who go crazy, because it probably because they're famous. Anyway, um... Using the internet, by the, the video, using the internet to expose the criminal and makes, making him um, world famous so, he, they, so they can capture Joseph Coney, 
he, uh, he went into hiding and, and is living in fear because of this. They never found Joseph Coney. And, well, I, maybe not anyone else, but I have some theories, as my teacher says, conspiracy theories, um, why he, he's, of why this is. Okay, so, number one, maybe he's still in hiding, which is the probability. Number two, maybe he's dead and his body is hidden somewhere. Or three... What if the man we believe is Coney is actually another person as a stand-in or like a, a like one of his minions pretending to be him? And, and, and the fourth theory is with that, it's the person, oh, it, um, is that, the per, that Coney is an everyday person we see, but the, the stand-in guy was, was, who is instead of being hiding he is actually killed by Coney and Coney hid the body so he can roam freely and everyone thinks he's in hiding and he's not and that is that is a theory um, but of course he would have to get an, another name but what if his name is another name that is a good question I'm glad you brought that up. I don't I don't really know. Those are just some theories. Some some crazy theories I have about this whole thing. Um what was my reaction to this whole thing? Well, honestly, sorry, I'm closing this this um document. Sure, I'll save the document. Um yeah, the video was well how do I put this? The video made me cry. I was watching it in class, and at, when everyone left, I had like little tears coming out of my eyes, and I was like, so, it, it got to me. The emotions got to me. I'm a very sensitive person, um, so it's not unlikely that I cried at the end of the movie, but I cried because it triggers emotion and that is my point and I made this long video the longest video I've ever made and despite how many times I had to stop and remake the video I, I stuck through the errors and the mistakes because I figured I'm never gonna finish the assignment and get to work and do everything I need to do if I have to stop and edit it a thousand times and I probably shouldn't be this honest but you know I, I'm, I'm an honest girl you know um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this now, and I hope I get a good grade. If not, I hope the teacher gives extra credit, because I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life if, if I don't have extra credit, because I'm gonna fail, and I don't wanna fail. I don't like failing. Um, hopefully I get a good grade. Peace out.